Welcome back to Living It Away. The bar team from Rye, located in San Francisco, is doing a two-day pop-up at Pint and Jigger. And we are lucky enough to get a preview with our friend Jen Ackrell and our new friend, Phil Morrow from the Bay Area. Yay! Yeah, aloha, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. welcome. Thank you. <laughs> aloha. And thanks for bringing some cocktails to celebrate. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. <laughs> it is. Always. But it doesn't really need to be 5 o'clock. No. It okay. doesn't. I want to know about this collaboration, how this, how this all come together. We've been wanting to do this for about three years. Wow. Um, the, the bars at Pint and Rye are very, very similar. They could almost be like sister bars. Wow. And so we finally just kind of like put our heads together and we're like, let's just make it happen. So we brought the whole team out to come and make drinks behind the bar at Pint. We did. Uh, we're never, for, we have so many people, we're going to do it for two days. I know. So what do you have planned? You're, you're taking it over. So what are you going to be doing? Oh, uh, we're going to make two drinks. <laughs> drinks One's a Pim's number five. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Get to work. Uh, we're going to make two drinks. One's a Pim's number five. Maybe you've had a Pim's number one. It's gin based, mm. but this one is whiskey based. Okay. The Pim's number five is rye whiskey based, <laughs> but we're using a bourbon to make it whiskey based. I and like it a lot. <laughs> there we go. I like that. <laughs> All right, He's so uh, that. we've already muddled some ginger in here. All right. And we're going to put some cucumber. Sweet. And uh, smash that up. Okay. Mix. What's the purpose of smashing it? Uh, you're getting the juices, mm -hmm. and you're making it a little bit more liquid, so when it goes in the drink, instead of just like dropping a chunk in there. Okay, so while you're doing that, I want to ask you, since you're out here, uh -huh. San Francisco is great, but sure. what most excited about uh, while you're here in Oahu? We have been to so many bars here. <laughs> It's a great scene, right? You know, R&D, sure. I was going to say, yeah. your hair looks great, but then it might be a cause of you going up to too many bars. Oh. I think that's some Bob's barbecue sauce. I, <laughs> last night. I, I, hit, I hit that up last night. Yeah. Do you get to write off all your bar experience? Because it is R&D for you, right? I'm going to try. Yeah, Maybe I should do it out of your hair. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, all right, so you're going to be doing drinks like this for two days and uh, taking over the bar there. So good fun. Good yeah, it's going to be right. super fun. So it starts tonight, Tuesday night, right? Mm -hmm. Tonight at 5. So we're going from 5 until 10 tonight, and then tomorrow we're going to start a little bit later because there's Hawaii food and wine is going on, yeah? Absolutely. And there's, uh, what is it, there are well, brews and barbecues. And brews and barbecues. Yeah, over at uh, Howard Hughes. So we wanted to go a little bit later because there's a ton of national and international bartenders mm -hmm. here on Island for food and wine. So we wanted to make sure that they would be able to come over and check it out after working and, and hanging out for food and wine. So Real yeah. quick, uh, the, the PIMS that we have, is it is whiskey-based. Okay. And uh, our friends in San Francisco, Marco, mm. Marco Dionysus and John Gasparini got an original Pimps number no. 5 from, uh, yeah, thank you. You're get you some I can <laughs> So they replicated the, the, uh, the original recipe as best they could. Oh, look at that. Let me ask, so it's um, cool. you're bringing this over from Rye, will Pint and Jigger have some of these drinks as, as, as on their menu? Like, Forever? Yes. I, I guess it depends on how it goes tonight, but I would think there's 30 drinks on that menu. Yeah, so I don't true. know if like adding a few 32 more into 32 is fine. 32? Right. Yeah, add two more. But um, they're going to be there tonight. They're also doing the regular pint menu as well. Mm. Okay. So we'll have uh, myself and some other pint bartenders are going to be behind the bar um, making pint cocktails, and these goofballs are going to be there <laughs> doing pint their like, thing. Congratulations for moving over. On the new pint my jigger. pint and jigger yes. house. I'm super excited about it. So yeah. over there. I also want to ask for those that are going to be over to drinking, uh, the food at Pint and Jigger mm. is so good. The burgers, uh, you guys... The freaking chicken? The, I like the name of that! <laughs> that freaking, it's, called? it's called a freaking chicken sandwich. It's got freaking pickles chicken. on it. It's still fried pickles. I don't know how many times we're allowed to Honestly. say that here freaking on air, but we'll just keep... Freaking no, that's okay. Hey, okay, so let... Uh, <laughs> okay, so what is this guy called? That's the Pims number five. Pims number five. Pims number five. And, and, Jen, and what you're pouring is... This is an old-fashioned cure-all. Uh, we take whiskey and we infuse it with rock candy, which is kind of like a cough <gasps> drop without the medicine. It's called whorehound. Can I say that on TV? <laughs> whorehound rock candy. It's it's H-O-R-E. Uh, okay. uh, and clove and cinnamon and citrus peel. Wow. You need to and try And you've that. probably had an old-fashioned before, but instead of, like, simple syrup or sugar, we use a creme de cacao, which is like a chocolate, and some bitters. And yeah. we're going to... This looks incredible. Let's give it a, let me yeah. give it a couple I, stirs. I want to take a little... Get Cheers and toast. Stuff. Yeah. I think you're going to like that one. Yeah. I want to take a picture of it. i got to grab my phone. <laughs> and Jen, it's like having part of home, too. I know you were at Rye before. Oh, so yeah. It's, it's really nice to have them out here. It's nice to do the collaboration with it. It's just really cool. I'm super excited about it. I'm, I'm hoping that tons of people come out tonight and check it out. I think it's I've told really every fun. bartender that we've met in the last two Case. days that where we are, and hopefully they... Isn't there a bartender from Smith Union's coming? There's a bartender from Smith <laughs> Union's? I love that bar. Oh, there you I'll go. You haven't been apparently. doing your R&D. Yeah. Information uh, about the pop-up. There it is. Bang, bang, bang. Right there. Pint and jigger. Awesome. Oh, right. oh sweet. Cheers. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks for having us. Tuesday and Wednesday. More pop-ups, yeah. too. All the time.